Good morning, friends. How are you? It's Heather at Bush Poppy Farm, and it's another very rainy day. So this morning, we're going to go over my Johnny's Selected Seeds 2024 haul. So I'm going to start with um, vegetables. There aren't many. Most of what I buy from Johnny's is actually um, the flowers and um, we'll be going over those next. And I will try to put photos here so that you can see what I'm talking about. Photo credit um, in this video goes to Johnny's Selected Seeds. Um, so the first one I have is a hybrid leafy Asian green called Green River. And uh, you know, Asian greens are so super, super yummy. So these are always a must for our garden. Um, the next one I have, which I don't know that I'm going to grow this spring. I might just wait and put this in the ground for the fall. Um, this one's a hybrid a specialty cauliflower called Purple Moon. Then I have, now this one I definitely am growing this summer. <laughs> this one's a hybrid seedless cucumber called QWERTY. And then I have two tomatoes here. Uh, both of them are indeterminate. Um, one of them is just has a number, JTO. Uh, the other one's called Harvest Moon, and I thought this one looked really, really yummy. So those are my vegetables that I got from Johnny's. And uh, I know I didn't provide a whole lot of information on it, but if you go to the Johnny's website, you can look up those varieties that I've listed, and you can get all the details. Um, one of the things I love about Johnny's packets, this is the fine print on the back, is they give you so much information. Um, they give you the specs about the seeds, um, the, the, t the culture about the seeds, when to transplant, whether you should start um, direct sow or grow seedlings and then transplant, just you know, pruning and care, just all kinds of really good information. So I highly recommend, if you've never bought seeds from Johnny's, I highly recommend that you give them a shot. Okay, flowers. Um, so this first packet is actually um, going out to the farm with me tomorrow, which will be our first sunny day. I need to move compost to um, the direct sow bed, the 4x6 that we got uh, cardboard down on last week. And I need to get these sown. These are Bells of Ireland, um, and these need a stratification period. So I actually have had this packet in the refrigerator for about six weeks, and hopefully that will do um, what it needs done in order to get these sown and germinated. So these are going into the garden. Um, and then I have lemon mint bee balm. Now this is Monarda. It is um, not an annual. I'll be growing um, seedlings of these to transplant out to be part of the pollinator patches there at the farm. I'll probably pop some in here at the home garden as well. Uh, next are a couple of Rudbeckia. Um, this one, Rudbeckia triloba, I already have growing in the home garden and I love it. It's an annu it's a perennial um, Rudbeckia. Actually, Rudbeckia in my zone here in 9B is all perennial, but this one is great. It is, um, it doesn't give you the tiny, it doesn't give you big flowers for cuts. It gives you a spray of little tiny flowers and uh, it's very pretty. The pollinators love it. And like I said, it's a perennial here, so I'm gonna grow a lot more of this. Um, I can use it for cuts, but I also have it in the garden just for its beauty and um, what it does for the insect community. And then I have Cherry Brandy Rudbeckia. This is a gorgeous color. And then a new to me one called Sahara. And uh, I just love the colors on this and I'm excited to try to grow it this year. For me, Rudbeckia um, is very slow to germinate and very slow to grow into a decent sized seedling to put in the ground. So just be patient and take care of them. And then they'll, you know, depending on the zone that you're in, they'll give you flowers forever. Okay, moving on to status. Now you probably know or remember that out at the farm, all of my status, except for maybe 12 plants, got eaten by birds um, when they were baby seedlings. For some reason, birds just love status. I think they just love the foliage. They think it's super tasty. Uh, so um, I'm going to start more status. Um, status for me, I can put it in the ground in October and I'll still be harvesting on it when the frost comes. It is a 
cold hardy annual and probably it would be perennial for me here in this zone um, I've never tried to do that but so all I did was just get a pastel mix because I really love the pastel colors um, and so I'm gonna start a whole bunch of these and then get these going in another part of the farm so I have plenty of status um, all right moving on to stock uh, I, a couple years ago, I decided I was going to give up on stock because it just wasn't producing well for me. Um, this year, I, I, even though I say that every year, I continue to sow it. So this year I put transplants out at the farm and most of them got eaten, but there is a patch that is doing amazingly well. And I'm very excited to see what the foliage, uh, I mean, what the flowers are going to look like coming off of that. Hopefully it will change my mind about stock. Um, so I'm going to do a very early spring planting of stock uh, at the farm so I can see if I can get more. Um, stock is a once and done um, plant. So one stock, one flower, you cut it, that's it. Um, so you can actually do multiple successions, but it is a cold hardy annual, so it does not like heat. Um, so I have a couple of varieties here. This one is Champagne, and then I have Antique Rose because I can't resist that color in anything. Uh, Antique Pink, and so that's it for the stock. And those I'm not waiting on. I am going to start those. I think this is the week. Um, it's week four in the calendar, <coughs> uh, planting calendar, and I think this is the week that a whole bunch of the stuff for the very early spring planting is getting started. Straw flower. Now I already have a whole ton of beautiful straw flower out at the farm. It is only the color copper red though. A lot of the other ones did not make it again eaten by birds. So starting more straw flower. This is such a great um, flower for fresh and dried and uh, I have to have a lot of it on hand. So uh, seashells mix, golden yellow, vintage white. This one's so pretty. It's got a tiny bit of pink in the center. Um, and an apricot peach mix. And then I have, this is a new to me sunflower. This is the Maximilian sunflower. It's a perennial sunflower. Um, so I'm going to just put as many of these out there as possible. Um, I want to convert all of those um, spaces at the farm that are not gonna be like specific growing areas, beds. Uh, I wanna put plant as many flowers, perennial flowers as possible there. Number one, they will help battle the weeds and the grass. Two, it will just bring the place alive with pollinators and birds. Okay, and then our zinnias. So um, I always buy lots and lots of zinnia seeds and I plant them all every year. So I've got uh, Queenie Red Lime. The, the Queen series is so cool. Um, so Queenie Red Lime, that's one of my favorites. Oklahoma white. Oklahoma are the really the smaller zinnia heads and those are great in bouquets. Um, it's a nice little mix. Uh, Zinderella peach. This one's really sweet. I enjoy growing this one a lot so I got another packet. And Oklahoma salmon. So I have a lot of sewing ahead of me over the next 10 weeks um, and I'm looking forward to it. I have never done a very early spring planting because usually I do all of my spring planting in the fall, uh, but this year it requires it because of how everything shook out. Um, so tomorrow, which is Tuesday, is gonna be a dry day for us. It's still raining today on Monday. It's gonna be raining again on Wednesday. Tomorrow, Tuesday, I'm heading out to the farm um, and I will be doing a bunch of stuff putting compost into that, at least one of those uh, four by six beds that have uh, cardboard down um, and direct sowing the seeds I need to sow and hoop and row covering that area so that nothing can get to it. Because again, this is not a deer fenced area yet. Um, and I just wanna keep them from being eaten by birds when they start to germinate. Um, and then I also will be putting in the ranunculus corms that I have out there in a box to fill in all those holes in the two ranunculus beds up front. And then I'll be weeding uh, the final ranunculus bed in the, on the backside that, um, next to the uh, silage tarp covered area. So trying to get a lot done tomorrow out there. Um, I, instead of getting more cardboard for the 10 by 40 bed, 
um, I forgot that I had a bunch of rolls of craft paper. Um, not as good as cardboard, but works the same. So I'm gonna take it out there and roll out, probably a double layer if I have enough. Um, and then that will be finished. I can put more bricks down, but I'm hoping that this rain that we've had, and we didn't get super high winds, which was awesome. Um, we have gotten, since I was out there putting the cardboard down, almost two inches of rain. So I'm hoping that everything stayed in place and that the cardboard is nice and wet. And so when I apply the compost tomorrow, it will just, you know, make a nice surface for direct sowing. And I won't have to worry about weeds for quite some time. Plus, because I'm direct sowing, I won't have to poke into that cardboard yet. And so everything that's under it will slowly die. Um, and by the time the seedlings start poking through, I think uh, we won't be dealing with that much in the way of weeds coming through um, those holes when, they're, when their roots go in. So that's the plan for the week. Um, I will also be doing some um, terrarium planting in the greenhouse as well as starting to sow a whole bunch of seeds. So it's gonna be a busy week. Um, I had hoped to get some of this terrarium stuff done over the weekend for you guys, but um, I got my second shingles vaccination on Friday and it really knocked me for a loop. I had, you know, chills, um, body aches, nausea, crushing headache, all that kind of stuff. But you know what? 24 hours of that sure beats weeks and weeks or even months of the shingles. And I have known people who have suffered for months. <laughs> so I'm cool with that. Um, anyway, so that's it. That's my Johnny's Selected Seeds 2024 Seed Hall. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you back in the field tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful time in your garden, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.